Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. As you just seen, I have my 2007 Articat 650H1 in the garage. And I'm gonna show you how I use my favorite tool, the power probe, to solve electrical problems. I find that the power probe is probably the only tool that you're gonna use when troubleshooting. You still will need a multimeter for some things I find multimeters work still a little bit better, but the power probe kicks ass. And I'm going to show you why. So what I got, I got two red wires coming off the battery. One goes up to the switch. And the other one goes to the fuse. Comes back down to the relay. Black wires are your ground. And then your white is the one that's going to go up and feed. So, want to check the fuse with the power probe. It's beeping, I got voltage. Other side, I got voltage. Follow it in. So this pin right there's got voltage. No voltage on this red wire. And no voltage on the white. But if That's triggering the white wire. triggering the red so normally a lot of people might think that the relay is shot and replace the relay but we can tell with the power probe by giving it power you can feel and hear the relay click but we don't need the relay to click on the opposite side because the white wire is the one that's triggering the relay to go on. The red so at this point, we know our power's good. We got a ground, which is good. We know the relay works. So we got to use common sense, process of elimination. What could possibly be wrong? Let's go to the switch here. Wow, I got 12 volts there. Nothing there. Okay. Switch says it's off. Let's turn it to on. Still got 12 volts. I have no power coming through the switch. This is where the power probe comes in handy because I can energize it. Right? The relay clicked. I could hear the relay click. and the light powered on. So we know from using the power probe, that, that switch is bad. Wow, I got 12 volts there, nothing there. Okay, switch says it's off. Let's turn it to on. Still got 12 volts. I have no power coming through the switch. This is where the power probe comes in handy because I can energize it. Right? The relay clicked, I can hear the relay click. And the light powered on. So we know from using the power probe, that switch is bad. So as you guys just seen, I just quickly used the power probe to diagnose and solve the issue. The fact that you're able to power up circuits, push forward, applies voltage. Push the switch back, grounds it. Comes in handy with so many things. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. And like I said, if you don't have a power probe, I suggest you get one because it's a lifesaver.